Hey, hey, what's up? We're back working on Ruby, our 88 Festiva. And if you're watching this, you're either a Festiva owner or you have an interest in them or you know me personally. So, hello. But if you're new, how's it going? Got a lot of Festiva content on my channel. I don't know if you can see her. But over here, let me, I'll just give you a little peep. Over here, you can see peeking out there is Ruby. That is our 65 Rambler. And there's some content on there, and there'll be a lot more on her. That's more of a cold weather car. We drive it in the summer, we don't do much to it. In the winter, we do a little tweaking and repair, and there's a big repair coming for that uh, in the fall. But today it's all about Ruby again. So if you drive one of these, you know that they are just the sheer power and aerodynamics of this car, it's already good enough, you know? You don't really need to make any improvements, but me being me and having to tinker and do basically dumb shit uh, to my project cars, and having done this to another car and thought it looked kind of funky, I decided that we needed to improve her already astonishing uh, handling and traction with this. We've used these on a couple other cars and this is one of them their uh, high-tech wind deflector diffusers that goes up underneath the rear bumper. So I want to bring you along while I fit this. It shouldn't take very long at all. Not really. So yeah, I'll bring you up underneath the car. I'll show you what needs to come off. There's just like four little screw-on clips. You need a Phillips head screwdriver, which I had. There she is. This and a drill should be all that you need to install this diffuser up underneath Ruby or your Festiva or any other car that you're just, you know, trying to get that little extra bit of wind carving capability out of. So, yeah, let me bring you up in here and we'll uh, show you what needs to be done. All right, guys, we're back. We're just going to ease up under here. One thing I've already noticed, uh, well, I've known it for a while, is, wow, look what's up with my uh, spare tire well there. It's not rusty. It's actually, it's cool. Car is basically rust-free. But uh, this used to indent, like, go up inside. It's been punted downward. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, enough of that. So, you can see here you've got these little plastic screws. There's one, two, three, four, maybe five I need to take out. This little baby's gonna, gonna shoehorn up in here. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> so this has a little bit of a curve to it, as you can see. My bumper, not so much. And we'll make it happen anyway. Whatever. If it's uh, really as lame as I think it's going to be on this car. It's not really going to matter anyway. So I've got to trim probably this last fin. Yeah, you can see that's that's no bueno. I'm going to trim the last fin off at each end. We're going to pull these little Phillips head plastic clips out, spank a few holes in my diffuser here, and uh, off the road, off down the road we go, just carving it up, you know, like a you know, cars that actually handle. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to pull these screws out, trim this up, and smack it on here, and I'll, uh, I'll show you what we're working with when we're done. All right, guys, we're back after about, oh, maybe 15 minutes of discovering that this was kind of a weird fitment. I'm going to take you up underneath and show you how we did it. So Harbor Freight sells these little things called U-bolts and screws. It's in their like, it's in their fasteners and their little white plastic containers. But this gives you an idea of how it fits. I had to cut a fin off of each end and then the little plastic clips that I pointed to, I took those out and they wouldn't go back in with this in place. So I just used uh, like a slip, it's this little 
metal C-shaped deal or U-shape as it's a, it is a U-bolt and it allows you to run screws and no Festiva was harmed in the making of this. Nothing else has been drilled. Nothing has been harmed in any way. I did spray it satin black so it matches a little bit better. I just want to take you a little ways away from it and you can kind of see where the five little diffuser fins are. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that guys. It's just a goofy modification that I made to the car and it can be reversed in under 10 seconds. If you knew me you would know that this kind of quirky shit is exactly what I am. So I just want to make the car mine because honestly uh, FordFestiva.com on Facebook is full of red Festivas that all look the same. Which is why I've done so many different things to my car. I can't go outside because it's raining or I would show you the front end, but of course there's my shameless plug. That's why I also have, you know, door panels that look like you're on a picnic and a steering wheel that shouldn't be in there. And of course the back is a work in progress. Soundproofing is in, subfloor is in. Pretty soon we're going to have these babies in there. Need to be shampooed. These are 07 Hyundai Tiburon seats. I've used them in a couple other cars and I love them. But anyway, yeah, on the front of the car I have an S10 lip. Pretty soon I'm going to do a custom badge for the front. And that'll be something else that I put on the channel. Also, different wheels and tires. And so much more. So anyway, enough babble. I, uh, I want to thank you guys for following me along on this journey. This is my first Festiva. It'll probably be my last because it's rust-free, and honestly, I don't think I'll find a better one, so I may as well hold on to it. Right? Uh, if any of you Festiva guys out there watching this, uh, calling out to you, I live in Northeast Ohio. I really need a transmission. I'd prefer a five-speed transmission. I have a four-speed now, and I want that fifth gear for highway driving. Also, a B6 engine. I think it's in a... Um, an eight or late 80s Mazda 323 or a late 80s Mercury Tracer. So it's 1.6 liter engine code B6. I need one. I don't need one. She runs great. But I want one because... Yeah. Duh. So, anyway, I think that concludes my video today. I want to thank you guys for coming. If you have not subscribed, please push the subscribe button. I have about 50 subscribers to 1,000 subscribers. I'm this close, and I really want to get there. That's a goal I, I set like three years ago, and for some reason, over the last month, my channel has just exploded. I think I have YouTube Shorts to thank for that, because I've been doing a short video every few days, and I'm getting thousands of views on them, and people are subscribing. So thank you to everybody who has joined in the last few weeks, and everybody who has stuck with me through all this bullshit. So anyway, click that bell for notifications because I put videos up constantly. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Make a comment, give a thumbs up, give a thumbs down. I don't care, but do something. That'd be great. See you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.